I am back here with Nanish, the fragrant lawyer. He is my go-to aroma aficionado. When I am looking for advice on what men should wear in terms of cologne, and we're heading into the fall, so I asked him to choose another uh, fall fragrance. What do you have for us today? I have a fantastic fragrance, very alluring, very powerful, Oof. very, I would say, crowd-pleasing. This is a bottle, a fragrance by Christian Provenanzo, and it's Amber d'Or. It is from 2016, United, uh, United Arab Emirates. A classy, but a very powerful fragrance. Well, I would say with notes, uh, you got amber, you've got some vanilla, you've got some rose, you have some woods, you have some musk. This is powerful, you'll get notice, and knock some of the other, you know, Aventus, Aventus, clone type of things <laughs> out of the water. This is a fragrance to get, to wear for the fall, to get noticed. It is a, a gentleman's fragrance, but also I would say very unisex. Women wear this probably equally as men. Really? You know, but I think it's masculine, but I know a lot of women who wear, will wear this as well. Today, I'm matching this with a Devonair fragrance with my, one of my favorite cognacs, Exo Courvoisier. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. And th this smells really nice too. Can you tell me a little bit about this? Oh, the cognac? Yes. Yeah, interesting, no. There are some fragrances that do have uh, cognac type of smells. There's a, a fragrance called, you know, by Killian. Okay. It's called, and, and it, um, a lot of the fragrances have liqueur. Well, I want to do a lot of those reviews as well. Yes, um, smell. But, and yeah. it goes hand in hand. Look, here, you do have some of that vanilla that you're going to find in the cognacs as well, right? You can't go wrong in the fall or winter. And the thing about this, you're not going to be smelling like everybody else. You're not going to be the, you know, the, the regular person with the same fragrance. Very unique. Uh, not many people have heard of this brand. He's a perfumer for other fragrance houses, but he's of the Victorias, for example, and he has his own line here. It's not that expensive for niche fragrances. I think it's around $295, $300. It's not a lot wow. compared to some of the other niche fragrances that are out there. Get your hands on this. Amber uh, Christian Provenanza. Thank you for that recommendation. I know you sprayed it earlier. It is coming over here. <laughs> it is really coming over here. And maybe that's why it's a, is that why it's a fall fragrance? Because they're stronger and it has to like beat the elements and the wind and whatnot? Well, look, what makes it a fall fragrance? You know, to, you know, many people look at fall fragrances. You're getting to the winter. You want some, you know, a lot of people want some uh, strong fruits. They want some amber out there as I well. I want soup. That's and, what I want. <laughs> and, and, and this, this, you know, I would carry this into the winter for sure. Um, you know, listen, uh, there are uh, there are people who would wear this all year round. You just control your sprays, right? right? Because it is a fragrance. This will last you all day. You don't wow. have to reapply this. It's going to last all day. I, I, I can tell that. Thank you so much. I will be having more, uh, you know, short reviews and recommendations from the fragrant lawyer to get the full review and the details of this fragrance and many more, many more recommendations, please head over to the Fragrant Lawyer YouTube channel. I will post the link. And until then, thank you, Nanish. Cheers. Cheers. And we'll be back.